All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Google Ads audience segments in your Google Ads campaign so that you can target certain types of audiences with your ads. Now, the first thing I want to make a note about this is that this is not the same thing as a custom audience for retargeting. So with a custom audience for retargeting, that's going to be, for instance, all your website visitors that you retarget. That's not the same thing as making an audience segment. So if you want to know how to set that up, go watch my video on that. I'm going to put a link above. That's a separate process to this. So you need to go watch watch that video. What I'm going to explain in this video is the audience segment, which is basically things like demographics and interests, which you can target people based on those. So in your Google ads account, what you want to do is you want to go to the Google ads account. And then on the side here, you can see once you click into campaigns, you will see down the side, you've got audiences, keywords, and content. What you want to do is go to audiences here, and then you'll be brought to this audience segment section. Now in this section, you can see here, you got age, gender, household income under the demographic section. And you can edit these demographics and you can also have exclusions. What I'm going to show you here is how to set this up so that you can actually target specific audience segments. So what you would do is hit add audience segment here, click this, and then you can select whether you want to apply it to the campaign or the ad group. So the important thing to note here is you can do this at the ad group level if you want to. I'm just going to show you for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to hit campaign and I'm just going to select one of my random campaigns. It doesn't really matter. Now, the first thing I want to point out here that's important is this up here. So you got the options between between targeting and observation. So the difference between these two is that if you select observation, this is not actually going to affect your campaign. It will not only target these people, what it will do is it'll just give you data on this particular audience segment, but it's not going to show it only to them. It'll show it to everybody. If you select targeting, then what's going to happen is it's only going to show it to this particular audience segment who have also searched your keywords. You need to keep that in mind. That's how this works. This is not a standalone thing. This is basically a layer on top of your keywords. So if someone in this audience segment searches your keywords, then they're going to get your ad. This is how that works and you need to be aware of this. So if you want to specifically target them, you need to hit targeting. If you want to just get data on the particular audience and see how it performs, then you would hit observation. Now in this section here, you can see you can scroll down this and see what different audience segment options Google gives you. If you go into browse, you're going to be met with these preset options. Now basically, these two bottom ones are your specific segments that you've made. So for instance, if you've set up website visitors and things like that, you can target them here. Same thing with combined segments. You can set this up if you want to set that up. I'm not going to go into that in this video. Basically, what I'm going to show you is how to do the preset ones. So there's three main types of them here. The first one is the detailed demographics. So things like parental status, marital status, education, home ownership status, and employment. And if you click one of these, you can go down here and you can select, for instance, if you only want homeowners, you don't want people renting, you can select this one and it'll only target homeowners. If you want a particular type of education, you see, you can go down here, select one of these marital status. So basically it's presets that Google gives you that you can select if you want to target a specific type of person. If you go back to affinity, this is basically interest. So people interested in, let's say banking and finance or a subset of that online banks, for instance, or beauty and wellness, you can go down here and select one of these, right? Or food and dining and so on. So you can go down and select one of these to target a particular type of interest. And now the third one is in market, which means people who are in the market actively searching a product or looking to buy something. And so Google's obviously using their data to put this together and determine who this is. But for instance, it can get quite detailed on this. So for instance, in consumer electronics, you can look at audio and you can see people who are interested specifically in the market for car audio right now and you could show your ad to them specifically or people looking to buy speakers or let's say cameras you can select people who just are looking to buy a DSLR so this could be people who are specifically looking at like DSLR reviews or things like that you can target them with this particular thing so you can see here that you can make an audience depending on these particular interests or these particular information pieces that you can then target so what you would do to make this segment is you would select one of these so let's just say I want single people and I'm going to hit save. And now you can see that I have added to this campaign marital status is single on this particular campaign. And now what you can also do, you can edit these if you want to edit them. So let's add the campaign level. And if I click the same one, I'll be able to edit the one I added, which is this one. If I change this to targeting, I'll just hit that and hit save. This will now actually target them specifically. Like I mentioned before, you would go through and you would check that, make sure it's set to the right one. And now what you can also do is you can exclude people down here. So if you want to 
to edit exclusions, you can go down here, select the campaign and you can exclude certain groups from this. So let's say I was targeting single people. Obviously I don't want to exclude them, but let's say what I want to do is now I want to exclude specifically married people and in a relationship. So I can hit save on that. And what that's going to do is it's going to specifically exclude them from my campaign. Now with this, just a quick note, you can see that this did not have the observational targeting method specifically. This will just exclude them if you include them here. So you want to just be aware that you're excluding these people who fit into these categories if you add them to this section and then that's it. So that's basically it for this. You can just set these audience segments like this to target them or to observe them here and get the data and as you can see if you scroll to the right you will get like how many clicks you got from this audience segment how many impressions and so on so if you're just observing it you'll get all this data how many conversions specifically and then in theory you could decide if you wanted to actually target them or not and then down here is the exclusions that you've set as well which can be ad group or campaign level so that's it for how to create audience segments in google ads if you'd like me to coach you on how to run your google ads campaign or do seo for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to run the google ads for your business or even do seo go to dominatemarketing.io book a call with us there catch you on the next one